So there are two schools of thought when it comes to the correct reaction of the bow arm during the follow through. Now, the first school of thought says that the bow arm should be completely stable. There should be no movement in the bow arm other than just breaking at the wrist and catching the bow in the finger sling. However, the second school of thought says no. The second school of thought says that the correct reaction of the bow arm should be to actually open up during the follow through and the bow arm should kind of break away in this direction. So, which is correct. It's quite simple. The principle is that the follow through is a reaction of the forces in the body at the moment of release. So in this video, what I wanna do is I'm gonna share with you a short extract from the Technique Fundamentals course. And in this video, we're going to look at a principle called force vectors in order to analyze what those forces are and understand what the correct reaction should be during the follow through. So let me know in the comment section below what you learned from this video. And if you wanna go check out the full coaching program over at the Rogue Archery Masterclass, then I'll link that up in the description box below. Now the reaction of the body in the follow through is often examined in a two dimensional plane. But I wanna take a bird's eye view and examine a principle called force vectors in a three dimensional plane to examine whether or not it's okay for the archer to break away as part of the follow through movement. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to demonstrate the follow through using force vectors. So force vectors are a principle of, of physics and keeping in line with our principle our third law of motion, which is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This orange line here actually represents the line of force of the bow at full draw position. And it, and it represents that line of force in terms of direction and also magnitude. Now keep in mind that all forces must always be equal and opposite. So when we extend the bow through the front shoulder position, the line of force through the body is actually not perfectly in line with the line of the arrow. It actually runs at an acute angle like this, doesn't it? Probably something a bit like this. So that's the line of force through the body. So what you'll notice is that these forces are not equal and opposite. So the component of this yellow line, which is the force of the body, can actually be drawn in two separate components. Okay, the first arrow here, this green line, represents the equal and opposite force to the force drawing the bow. But there's another component here that we need to create equilibrium, right? Which is a force in this direction, a much smaller force, but nevertheless, this force must be maintained to obey the laws of physics and maintain force equilibrium at the full draw position. So this here you can see represents force equilibrium within the body to counteract the forces imposed on the body by drawing the bow in that full draw position. So, remember this, the movement of follow through is a reaction of these forces acting in the body at the moment of release. So what do you think is going to happen after release? Well, we'll see. You can see that the front bow arm actually obeys the laws of physics. Ta-da! And it, that is what is observed as this breakaway movement. There's a very slight breakaway of that front bow arm that, are, that falls in line with these lines of forces and the force vectors that we've demonstrated in this example. So as you can see, it's part of a natural reaction from the forces within the body for the bow to break away just slightly as a reaction during the follow through. Now it's never okay in contrast for the bow arm to collapse inwards. And this would be a strong indication that the archer has lost the strength and intention of their shoulder alignment throughout the follow through. And so this is to be avoided at all costs. However, the intention here isn't to really train this huge exaggerated reaction of swinging the bow outwards. It's a simple and subtle movement opening up the body and it shouldn't be explicitly trained, but if the archer maintains the intention of continuing the strength of their shoulder alignment, that that is okay to accept as a natural reaction of the bow. Certainly. Here he goes, Muto. If this is a 10. 
So what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you learned something from this video, then definitely go check out the full coaching program over at the Rogue Archery Masterclass. We've got the full coaching curriculum, as well as guided training drills, training program design. We have our online community where we do regular form checks and video analysis. So I'd love to see you there.